and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Committer guide. Today I'm going to be going over the market. Now, as you guys probably don't even know, let me get that out the way now. So I came on today to make a different video, and I came on to so the prices have dramatically changed. Now, I don't know what happened, but the market has skyrocketed. So I figured this was validated. This was, this was like, I need to make a video on this, right? The market is crazy high right now. Now, there's a few reasons for why I think it could have happened, but I'll go over that as we get into this video, guys. But the market is crazy expensive, like really, really expensive. I went on to make a video going over some method I want to go over, and when I went, the price was not there anymore. I tried recording it twice. I just deleted the video and I scrapped it. And I was like, let's make this video instead because things are up a lot. You guys will see very quickly how high things are right now. I'm gonna go over a few reasons why. Tour like as we get into the video, I'll go over the reasons why I think that. And for now, I'm gonna show you guys what like the damage that has been done. Now, for starters, as you guys know, one of my favorite methods in the game has been dramatically impacted by this. Now, I'll show you guys in a second, but before we get into the video, guys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, come join the family. Make sure to come join, to the 20k as quickly as possible, boys. We're, that's, that's such a big milestone. We're almost there. Comment down below if you guys have anything, any reasons for why you think the market might have skyrocketed so much, and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 350 likes on this video, boys? Let's make it happen. So... One of my favorite methods, as you guys know, are these sets. These cards are going for 200k, 210, 215k about yesterday. Now look at this. You click on Brandon Graham, 275,000 coins. So you think, right? Why would a Super Bowl player, 275, and then again, 251. Now, so you think, right? Why would a Super Bowl player go up in value? He doesn't have a currency tied to him. So that means that it's not just Super Bowl players, it's the market going up. So then you check the Super Bowl past heroes, right? Like, is there anything here? Like, those cards don't even go into that. So again, it makes you wonder, why is that, why is it so expensive now? Who knows? So, and then I got thinking, right? I was like, well, maybe if Super Bowl players are up, and I was like, wait, wait, no, there's no currency with them. So there's no correlation between Super Bowl players going up, it should be the whole market. So I was like, let me go check the whole market as a whole. So I headed over to the 9495s, and I looked. Look at these legends right here, 230, 240, 225. These cards were below 200K. Tiger early 250. I'm like, why? And then I was like, why are things up so much? So then I was like, okay, let me check the team of the years. Team of the years were about 205 to 215. Like that, that was like the average price for the, the worst team of the years. I went to go check 248, 256. And like, these are like the lowest, lowest ones. Even for the lowest ones, they're pretty expensive now. Now as you get them to the better ones, Patrick Ricard is 275. Oh, 269. You keep going down. Tariq Cohen, 298. McCall Harmon's 339K now. And I was like, wow, wait, hold up. Why is everything so expensive? So now I'm like, it's not just Super Bowl. It's the whole market. So I went to the, the next set, right? Now these guys start at 350. That was not happening before. These are not a 350 base. You go on down a little bit more. DeAndre Hopkins is now 366. You go on down even a little bit more. Let's find Russell Wilson and Aaron Donald. Russell Wilson is now, let's see. George Kittle is now 400k. He was like 360 before, which isn't the biggest increase, but 40k is a lot, especially if you're buying a bunch of players at once. Now Russell Wilson's 473, and Aaron Donald's pretty much 500k. So they skyrocketed too, and I'm like, okay, so, so now I don't know what to think about this. Now as we go over, as you guys can see too, goes to past, right? 96s. Vic was just literally Vic was just 330k. That's what I sold him for. Now he's 400k. Patrick Willis, he's been expensive. I mean, irrelevant there, right? But you guys get the point. You guys are pretty much seeing the market has greatly, greatly increased. Now, I don't know if the lower overall cards changed too much. I haven't checked them. I'll check them now. But I don't know why the market skyrocketed. I'm going to give you guys my reasoning behind it. But initially looking at this, I was weirded out. Like, I was so confused. I came home with some. Look, the, the indicators. The 88s are now 33K. You guys remember the 88s were like 27K yesterday. 6K increase on these is still like a 20% increase. If you guys get, if you guys understand how that works. Wow. I really don't know, boys. I was confused as hell. I know now, but I was confused as hell this morning trying to make my videos. I was like, what is going on with this market? Now, coming to theory one of why this market be so expensive. By the way, do not buy cards right now. Do not buy cards right now. Now, there's one way, there's one reason you might want to buy cards, and even then, I don't recommend you buy cards. But theory number one, and in no order are these theories more or less important than others. Theory number one, Super Bowl present comes out today. People might be stockpiling on training to see if they could pull some of the new players. Because remember, the new players are going to be higher overalls. So, you come over to training currency. Maybe they want to do 82 pluses. I don't know, but they're going to be higher overalls. We're probably going to be, we're getting a 97 Sherman as well as the 96 overall heroes that are going to probably be in it. 
So many people are stockpiling on training so they can take advantage of a training set for them. Quite possible. Don't know if that's the real reason though. Theory number two. And the more prominent theory is people are expecting a Blitz promo. Now, here's the thing, right? This whole year, there's been people who know things about EA through leaks, right? Like, not, not like mutt leaks, but like there's some people who know people that work at EA or have connections to EA and they give them insider info. So all year you can tell like, one day you're on the auction block, it's like, oh wait, why does Dems Awards power go for 45K? That's weird. Next day, EA does a special stream, Dems Awards in the promo. Hmm, how do so many people know that? So there's people, there's people at EA that leak information to other people they know. So ironically, training is really, really expensive from yesterday to today, what changed? Now, Gutfox actually made a video going over how there could be a potential blitz. So I don't know if he impacted the market, but all I'm saying is that there's been a few times this year where you can know when things are coming. Like you see that like, oh wow, wait, Ray Lewis's power is now 30K. Gets the first gets the first ultimate legend. Like there's been things that I've seen like that. Like that's the kind of thing that, that's happened all year where you see cards really expensive. Like, oh, they're getting a card soon. Cause people know that work from EA or people who do work at EA, I don't know, they stack their own team like that. I don't really know. Point is people know. So training's super expensive now. I don't even know what that's what the per is on that. Like that's definitely crazy expensive per. Let's see if I can even check the math on like any random card right now because the, the per is definitely a lot. And by per, I mean the per coin ratio. Let's see if I have any cards that can be sold so I can click on here to show you guys. No, I have Chris McCallister. I should probably sell him by the way. Oh yeah, I should probably sell him. But you guys get the point. I'm not gonna do the per on them because they're obviously crazy expensive because they're themed diamonds. But in general, cards are definitely super expensive right now. Let's see an 86. 86, 20K, I, really, I don't know if those really get packs too much. Now, my recommendation right now, I wouldn't buy. But if there is going to be a blitz, right? You don't have to buy training. You probably have training on your team. Clean some, do some binder cleaning, but you can wait. You don't need that training now. Wait till, the, wait till anything comes out. But they didn't give us a blitz promo with the with the uh, zero chill. So I don't know if they'd give it to us now. It just make, it doesn't make sense. It would have made more sense with a currency than to do it now with a currency this time. It kind of does suck because we did get a lot of, we got like three or four blitzes last year. Now we only got one. And we got the the regularly scheduled one. The more fun ones were the ones that we weren't expecting that came out of nowhere. So I wouldn't buy right now. I'd wait for the markets to come down a little bit. The market should not be the side. If you do have cards though, I'd probably sell some of them. If you still have Vic, sell them. I'd sell a few cards right now. I think this is a great time to sell. You could easily make like a, a six to 20% increase on profit. And then all you have to do is just go ahead in like a week and buy some things back. I don't know what will crash it back down. I mean, end fall honors are coming soon as well as the Super Bowl, Super Bowl content content. People getting all the MVPs, 99 overalls. All the 99 overalls alone are probably going to crash the market a little bit. So I'd recommend sell some things now. I'll probably sell what I do have or what I have available to sell. But as far as everything goes, I don't know. Like I said, I don't have an exact reason, but it could be the A blitz. People are prepping for training stuff for the present, uh, present sets or People really want training right now, which the only thing I can think of too is because everyone's getting their free Mel Renfro. People are buying a ton of training so they can power up their Mel Renfro all the way. They could have looked it up online. It probably costs like close to like 20K to upgrade Mel Renfro all the way. I'm not entirely sure, but that's a very high possibility considering that people are getting a lot of Mel Renfros. So I don't know, either EA messed it up, people know there's a blitz coming, or people just want training. But I, I think the Mel Renfro thing is a quite, that's honestly a pretty big possibility, Mel Renfro. People wanted that. But when is the time to uh, buy? Like I said, you could wait for NFL honors and the rest of the Super Bowl promos to come out because as we get into February, which is like a few days away, cars are gonna we're gonna start getting 99s, 98s, and more 97s. Cars are gonna come down greatly in price because there's gonna be too many good cards coming out in the game. Right now we only have like two 97s, you know. We're gonna get the new Sherman today, 97. But other than that, we don't have many. We're gonna get a 99 MVP. We're gonna be getting a bunch of stuff. So I highly recommend you just wait, sell some cards off. I'm gonna go sell my theme diamonds. Those cards are crazy up in price right now too. If you have any Cowboys players, guys, real quick, go sell them. If you have any Cowboy base elites or golds, sell them because they are part of the theme diamond set for Mel Renfro, the 89 theme diamond one, and that is crazy expensive because everyone's getting a free Mel Renfro. I sold maybe like 150K worth of like Cowboys golds and a few base elites. Trust me, it was great. Great idea to go ahead and do that. I recommend you guys do that if you do have any left over. And guys, this is pretty much the market talk for this. That pretty much covers that. I got to go figure out another video for today because my other video was messed up by all these prices. I will have the daily content at 1030. So if you guys haven't seen that already, go back to watch that. And actually, by the time you're watching this, you might have already seen the other video. So I probably thought about it already. 
It's like Inception. I don't know. It's weird to think of. But guys, that's about it for the video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that notification bell. Come join the family. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys that come out here on a daily basis. Make sure to go down below. Like the video as well. Let's get this video to 350 likes. And comment down below what you guys think is the the reasoning behind this massive skyrocket in prices. And what do you guys think we're going to see coming down? And what's your advice for this moment? I always like to see you guys in your comments. And it also helps out with people who read down below. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.